talk a little of the difference of hitting a one-handed backhand, okay? Playing on clay court, lower uh, surface, and playing maybe on hard, hard court indoors or grass, okay? The difference of the ball that is really with a lot of spin, a lot of revolution in the ball, that you hit it, okay? You really accelerate it from under, and the difference to a ball that is more flat, okay? The one that you just try to get all the time on the ball, and the difference of hitting from this moment, okay, getting from under, create this revolution, and getting from up, okay, almost the same line of the ball, to have a little uh, different bounce in the other side, and of course, made a little different effect. And there's a thing that you have to keep in mind here, for you to create more spin on the ball, you have to hit from under the ball. Okay, this is, sounds a little obvious, but there is a lot of people that try to create a spin just to play with the hand. People that maybe, I mean it happened to me, I played for six years on indoor in the US, and then coming to South America again to play on clay court was a little hard, I had to shaft, play more again, my technique and all the follow through of the racket. But think about this. You want to create more spin on the ball you have to get from under the ball you have to brush the ball okay not only with your hand and with your tire arm but also with your legs the main problem of people trying to create a spin okay playing on clay court or when they tell me i want to have a ball that is going to bounce really high okay on the other side of the court is that they just try to hit with the hand with the legs straight which is going to be impossible so first thing to create okay is gonna be to get from under the level of the ball. If you're gonna hit a ball over here or over your shoulder, you will have to back up a little to let the ball drop and then hit. A lot of coaches tell tell you that you have to hit the ball when the ball is going up, which is true. Of course, if you just want to hit more aggressive and attacking, but if you're playing in a clay court or low surface or even in hard court, but you want to create more spin, you have to back up a little, let the ball fall to then be able to brush more the ball and create a little uh, longer trajectory on the ball. So the first thing that we're gonna do, and I'm gonna try to break this down in little steps. Let's imagine that we have the ball a little over your hips, okay, between your hips and your shoulders, so mid chest. What you're gonna have to do first is always unit turn, okay, this doesn't matter for what stroke you're doing, okay, 400 backhand or volley, unit turn, and then getting from under. From getting from under the ball, I don't just mean, okay, going down and keeping your racket high. I have another video of talking about the one-handed backhand when I said that the, the tip of the racket, okay, the, this point of the racket has to be pointed always to the sky with your hand low, okay, so you're gonna kind of have the racket like this, not like this, because it's gonna be really hard to create a spin, getting a straight, okay, with the racket, a straight line to the ball. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just unit turn, okay, you see the ball coming, unit turn, okay, you see I'm sideways here to the court, a preparation here of the ball, like this. Okay, so you're gonna create an L uh, with your racket and your arm here, 90 degrees. I listen to a lot of people talking of having the racket like this, okay, where you're able a little closer to your to your body. If you take a look at what players do when they're playing on clay court, you're gonna see that they're always straight. I like, okay, always to talk about the, maybe the Argentinians or South Americans because they have better uh, top pin on clay court. So you're gonna get from under the ball, okay, bend your knees, rock it here and one thing that is gonna be key for you to point the ball is gonna be the shoulder okay under your chin pointing to the ball so if the ball is coming here you automatically will get your shoulder and kind of hide your racket with your left hand here hide it behind so then you can from under explode to the ball and create this moment from uh, from low to high okay you're not gonna get again you're not gonna hit the ball like this you're gonna keep it here with this hand you're gonna help yourself to take the racket down you see here the, the movement i made to take it down 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 and then kind of feel like you were taking a sword okay from your pocket you're gonna bring it from down here to up okay showing the bad cap of the racket here you see the w here from wilson you're gonna take it all the way to the ball and then hit in front of you with your arm extended and then instead of just going forward like if you were trying to hit flatter you're gonna go Okay, again, movement, shoulder back, hit in front, and then the pronation with your hand, which is very important. This is the moment, okay, the last tip of the spin that you're gonna get to the ball to hit it. You can get a lot of toss spin to the ball and make it not only go higher over the net, but make it bounce faster, okay, and push your player with the ball in the other side. 
So once again, and then I'm gonna show you a couple of shots of this. Okay, you get under the ball, you take the racket down, you bring it, okay, you keep your shoulder in, you bring it here, okay, with your hand, bring it in front, and then this coordination fast here, and keep the balance. If you're playing cross court, of course, you're gonna fall faster than if you're playing down the line. So you're gonna keep the balance a little longer until the ball is in the other side. I actually wanna show you this, okay, with three balls, showing that you can train this yourself. Of course, if you have somebody to throw the ball, it's gonna be a little better because you're gonna have a more real ball, a realistic where the ball is coming and then you get under. But if you don't have anybody, you just wanna go out to the court, okay, to a wall or whatever, you can throw the ball to yourself and get, okay, just throw a little higher so you have time to get under and then hit it. So I'm gonna show you here a little cross I'm gonna move a little here so I don't hit the, the camera here. So I'm gonna throw three balls for me and then hit the ball and then I'm gonna put it in slow motion so you can see how I take the racket back, okay? And then I hit in front and I keep the pronation to make the ball. And the ball, the first movement is gonna go high, okay? The ball is not gonna go forward, but it's gonna go high with a lot of revolution. So let's see the first one. If it bounces wrong, I'll do it again. And that ball really had a lot of spin. You can see the end of my racket here. I keep the balance. That ball was really high over the net. It was deep on the ball and it bounced almost on the second bounce hitting the fence in the back, so which is really good. So let's go one more. That one was even better, okay? Close, close to the baseline, second bounce was already on the fence, which is great, but you could see there, and then you're gonna see it on the slow motion, how I throw the ball, prepare, okay? Get a space, the ball and me, prepare here, get from under the ball, crush it, and then finish, so I can get the pronation on the ball and I can make it really go high with a lot of revolution. So you could see there the spin and now we're gonna focus on the flatter ball that you probably see all the time in most of the tour on hard uh, fast surfaces. So there is a trick here that a lot of uh, video analysis show you, which is great, and I like to, to show it to my players, which is instead of getting with the hand, the racket like this, and getting with the hand from under, okay, dropping the racket, taking it, okay, like the sword, and get it from under the ball, which for spin you're gonna do this movement, okay, this movement, and then up. Here, your hand kind of doesn't move, okay? If you, if you throw a line of, I don't know, like 20 centimeters, your hand is gonna, it's gonna stay on the same line and which you're gonna drop it to the racket, then take it like, just like if you were punching somebody, okay, with the, with the back of your hand, the racket is gonna stay and then make the punch forward. One of the players that I like the most doing this is uh, Dimitrov, okay? He does, it, he does it really well, where he keeps the hand almost in the same line and then he pushes forward to create a difference with the ball that you're getting Okay, when it's going up, because now you're going aggressive, you don't know let it down, you know you're not gonna be able to hit flatter. Okay, when the ball is going up, so the ball comes and you meet the ball halfway, okay, always trying to get it in front of you so you don't get it late, which is a big problem on the one-handed back, and because you don't have the right hand to correct, okay, and to bring the ball again to the court and not get it uh, wide. So again, you're do gonna get under the ball, okay, on the ball, Instead of letting it drop, you're gonna get it when the ball is going up. You get under, and instead of taking the racket all the way down and coming from under the ball, okay, in this moment, you're gonna try to keep the, the hand always in the same line, okay, just twisting your elbow here to then hit it and go forward. So let's see the difference a little slower. You're gonna get here for the spin, you drop the hand and you come from under, and for the flat ball, you keep the hand on the same line and you get it on, okay, in front of you when the ball is going up and then you take the racket a little, okay, up instead of just rotating your hand like you want when you brush it with the spin. So I'm gonna show you a couple and I try to put a little clip from uh, Dimitrov doing this so you can understand the difference of the, the hand going up and the hand keeping the same line, okay, and just with your shoulder taking it just like if you were slapping somebody okay or throwing uh, a frisbee okay
this moment to get the flag. Alright, so just keep in mind that for you to practice the ball, okay, for you throwing yourself the ball to hit the flat when it's gonna be tough because that's a ball that you have to take on the rise. And if you throw it, the ball is gonna be kind of like linear here for you to take it. It's gonna be hard to control. You need the power of the ball coming coming up for you to, um, to meet the ball halfway, okay? And just throw the racket going through the ball. The other one is gonna be easier because the ball is gonna drop and you have to let it drop. So the ball is gonna have some kind of weight to hit it. But anyways, you can practice just focus more, not where the ball is going, but on this okay, movement of throwing the free feet and keeping the different uh, pronation of okay, just getting through the ball and finishing here and then creating this pronation with the end of the racket falling to create the, the speed of the ball. So I hope you guys can practice this. Let me know if you have any questions. Okay? Comment below. I try always to answer when somebody really comments something and wants to improve or wants to learn or wants more information. I don't waste time. Um, answering negative comments or comments that are not gonna help anybody to improve anything so leave the comment below um, again I'm gonna help you remember subscribe to the channel if you didn't connectedtennis.com you have more content there you have Instagram the Facebook page where I just post uh, little clips every day for you to have more videos so sometimes I go to train and you have clips there also in the next video I'm gonna be showing some drills okay at least three to four drills for you to practice the, the ball with a spin for all those I know the, the the heavy the heavy ball okay the ball will spin not only on the backhand one hand two hands or forehand a lot of people uh, look for that because it's, it's great to have a heavy ball that is gonna push your plays more when you're playing on this kind of surface where the flat balls are not too effective so the, the coming videos are gonna come with a lot of different exercises uh, hand drills racket drills where you can uh, practice this pronation, okay, getting from over some obstacles and then going, uh, getting the ball high over the net, all right? So I hope you guys enjoy it. I uh, will see you in the next one. And that's it for today.